Sex before marriage was for the most part taboo throughout ancient Chinese history for young women. So it is extremely important for their virginity to be validated before they can be sent into marriage. Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode on、uh, ancient Chinese history. This video is also based on true story, so I'm gonna give you guys the、uh, top three methods in ancient China, which I think are the most reliable. But obviously, none of them are 100%. So number one on my list, I think personally this is the most reliable method. I'm going to call these people aunties because、uh, aunties sounds like a more friendly term. So、uh, they were extremely common. Throughout the、uh, ancient Chinese history, so they will often be responsible for、uh, matchmaking and finding the best young girls to marry into these、uh, upper-class wealthy families. And oftentimes, they will also be responsible for checking the young girls' uh, virginity. They have the most experience out of all the people. Once they take these girls into a back room and、uh, they know what the shape of the vagina should look like, they will do their examinations into the cervix and check if the hymen is intact. I'm not the expert. The point I'm trying to make is,、uh, I think this is the most reliable methods because they were basically the ancient Chinese gynecologists. They know what a virgin vagina should look like. And method number two takes place、uh, after the night of the marriage. So these nannies and servants,、uh, they would clean up the bedroom and they would look for、uh, blood stains either on a cloth or on a bed sheet, as you can see in this photo here. So it is expected that、uh, if a young girl is virgin and she's having intercourse for the very first time, she will experience a lot of bleeding. So that's what they're looking for—the evidence there. And this is to further、uh, validate、uh, the girl's virginity. So the more bleeding there is, typically the more convincing the evidence. This is also used as evidence—the fact that the couple did consummate their marriage on their wedding night. And this is also true. Sometimes what would actually happen is these aunties,、uh, nannies,、uh, slash、uh, servants, they would actually lean against the door on the wedding night to listen to any noises and、uh, listen to what they're talking about. And sometimes they will gossip. But personally, I really don't like this method because it is extremely unreliable. It can be faked easily. You can literally just use a needle or a small knife just to cut your finger open and just squeeze out some blood. So not the best method, in my opinion. Method number three is the girl's age and family background. Now it is normal in ancient China for a girl to be married between the age of 14 to 16. So when the groom's family see that、uh, the bride soon to be is extremely young, perhaps、uh, 14 or 15 years old, they will likely believe that、uh, she is indeed a virgin. Also, they're more likely to be a virgin if they come from a wealthy, well-known、uh, family. Because if a young girl was raised in a wealthy, well-known family back in ancient China, it is absolutely taboo for them to have sex before they're married into another family. And if they are caught, this will bring shame to them and the family name. Many of them can be disowned from the family. In some extreme cases, if they get pregnant from the process, they can even be burned alive. So the three methods I just mentioned, those are the three that I actually think are the most reliable. Obviously, none of them are 100%. There's no way to be absolutely 100% sure. There were a, a various of other absolutely insane methods that、uh, people tried in ancient China as well. I'm not really going to go through them. There's cases where people、uh, they would drip the girl's blood into a bowl of water. Sometimes there's the bowl method. There's also a method of using the wind. And I am not going to go into these、uh, details because, to me, it's absolutely insane. It's basically witchcraft. It's a Salem witch trial crazy. This is how、uh, people in ancient China verified the girl's virginity. Thank you guys so much for、uh, watching this video. I have lots of new, exciting, original contents coming for 2023. I've left some notes on the screen there. Happy holidays, everybody! I will see you in 2023.